All right. Hello, everybody. It's the Maista from Brews and Tunes. Cheers. Um, very excited today. I am chatting with some uh, friends of mine who uh, I interviewed not too long ago, uh, doing a follow-up interview uh, with these guys because they have some exciting news, exciting things are happening since we last spoke, which was, uh, God, I think back in April. Um, so I am, of course, chatting with uh, Necropsy, um, killer death metal band out of Ogden, Utah, my hometown. Uh, how are you guys doing? Good, good. good. Yeah, awesome. awesome. Great to see you. I know, uh, well, and, I, and I'll very quickly, just uh, for the viewers, um, uh, of course, chatting with Forrest, Sadie, Tim, and Don. Um, good to see you guys. Um, and I know uh, you're probably all pretty tired because you just had a gig last night um, here in Ogden at, at Kamikaze's. How, how was the show? How, how did that go? It was amazing. It was one of our better shows that we've had nice. in a while. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Very cool. Very cool. Um, and of course, uh, so when I last saw you, it was uh, back in May, and it was your release party for this wonderful album, uh, yes. Chaos Indulged. Uh, there you go. Into, nice. Um, yeah. Killer stuff. Love this. Uh, I mean, it's, it, yeah, I spin this a lot. It's really fun. Uh, just some amazing tunes. Um, and I still think Hash Browns is the greatest name for a song ever. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I wrote uh, that thinking Hash Browns. <laughs> nice. Which makes it even better. Who doesn't love Hash Browns? Um, yeah. But yeah, killer, killer stuff. Um, so uh, I know, um, well, uh, two things, two big things I wanted to chat with you about, and I don't want to steal your thunder. But um, so you had a big show, um, I guess it would have been back in kind of the, the first of July um, down in Salt Lake. So I'll let you talk about that. I, I, I won't, I'll, like I said, I don't want to steal your thunder. I'll let you guys chat about it. And then you've got an upcoming show here very soon in the next couple of weeks um, that we'll definitely want to talk about as well. But tell me about uh, who you opened for, who you played with. And I think that's what probably, maybe I'm wrong. But I'm guessing that show is why you are headlining this next upcoming show, correct? Yep, you're right. Yep. Awesome. Okay. So, yeah, tell me about that. Tell me about the the July show. So we played with Skeletal Remains. Nice. It was, uh, it was awesome. It was really fun. Very cool. Very cool. Okay. Yeah, I thought it was. Thought they were a sweet <laughs> band, and um, they are also coming with another band, which they, Metro said no. Because they were underage. Yeah, oh. so they were excluded. Yeah. Which um, is unfortunate. Yeah. So we actually got more playtime, which was way cool. Oh, yeah. yeah. Nice. We thought we would, were only able to play like a half hour, but we ended up playing 45 minutes to an hour. Like, yeah, oh, nice. it, was, it was a good fat set. <laughs> yeah, that's really cool. It's almost like a full set. Time. Yeah, that's great. So, Sorry. Opening band. I think we had more time than the opening band and the headliner. Really? Wow. Yeah, we did. We did play longer than that. <laughs> yeah, it was long set. It's pretty good. That's cool. How did how did that come about? Did you um, you know, was it was it somebody from the metro that contacted you? Did Skeletal Remains know about you? Like, how how did you guys get involved with with opening for them? Well, I I went to a show. I went and seen a goat head there. Oh yeah. And it's the first time I'd been to the Metro, and I was telling Sadie, I was like, wow, I just went to the coolest venue. It sounded so good. We should play a show there. And next thing you know, she was like, hey, we got a show there. I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, I, I, <laughs> so I don't know. I got a hold of the people from the ticket place, actually, and then they helped us get on at the Metro. It was really nice. Nice. Right. That's great. That's really cool. Um so other big news, of course, uh, before we get into your, your next show, is the fact that you now have a fourth member. Uh, Mr. Tim Fisher joined very recently, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so, uh, yeah, welcome, Tim. And, uh, yeah, that's exciting news. That Kind of tell me, how did, how did that come about? Did you guys all know each other? Like, what was, I mean, what was the deciding factor in, in, in bringing in a second guitar player? That's about 10 years ago or so, uh, Don had left the band and they needed a bass player. And so I came in playing bass oh, okay. uh, for roughly a year and a half, two years or so. And then uh, things kind of fell apart. And then when they got back together, I just kind of about a month ago asked if I could come back. 
Nice. Yeah, Very he's cool. always been a really amazing band member. Now I'm back on guitar. Very cool. Very cool. And it's, yeah, he's, he's good. We did an album called Soul Signature together. Uh, yeah. And so it, it just made sense. Nice. Well, and that I'm sure definitely kind of changes the the dynamic and and you know gives it a much more robust sound. You know, having two guitar players, um, you know that I, I'm excited to hear the new material with with both of you and and you know and see you guys live. Um, you know, because I've only seen you as a three piece, so I think that that's going to be really cool to see kind of what that dynamic is like. And you know, I you know any I, I'm a sucker for dual guitar work anyway, so yeah, I think it's going to be really interesting and. Um, yeah, see that. It's exciting. It's still fun. it out. Nice. Yeah, it seems um, like the piece was always missing, though. Pardon? Seems like the piece was always missing. Right, yeah, right. you needed that guitar. It's 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 much better. Cool. Very cool. Um. So Tim, I when I interviewed the rest of the band, uh, you know, a few months ago, we we talked about this, but I was curious about your background as a musician kind of you know did you did you come from a musical family how did when did you start playing guitar um you know kind of what was what's what's your history uh i was about 14 years old and i had some friends that played guitar and i went over to their house and sat down and just picked up a guitar and just learned like two or three songs picked it up really fast went home told my parents i need a guitar and they bought me one for christmas nice I've been ever since that's awesome. That's awesome. Who have been um, as far as 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 far as your guitar work, kind of you know, who are your influences? Who are the people that that you look up to and and aspire to as far as your musicianship? Oh, uh, dang! There's a lot. Uh, I'd say uh, Old Metallica was a big influence at first. Cool. Um, Typo Negative has been a big influence. Tool. Um. A lot of doom metal bands like My Dying Bride, Catatonia. Nice. Uh, Pink Floyd's a big one. Very cool. Very cool. Love every band you mentioned there. <laughs> so that that's great. Um, so kind of what's the in terms of I'm curious, I know when we when we spoke before, Sadie, you had mentioned that you were already in the process of of writing new material for a new album. And that in part the I guess the release of KS Indulged was in part to to get money to to do a full you know a full length album um has so i'm kind of curious like where are you in that process and now with tim in the in the mix does that change the writing are you kind of changing any of the songs you know out of care and maybe you know maybe you're not at liberty to say right now but i'm, I'm kind of curious how what what that process is like in terms of writing the new the new material i feel like the songs will definitely evolve and change um we'll probably come up with a because this right here is a live mix of us oh, okay. um, which I, I haven't really said on it should say live so we might end up remixing this sticking tim in it or probably a whole new chaos and village that's not live but this next album uh we're working on is going to be um called sea beyond so that's where our new adventure is going to that. Cool. It's going to be a whole new album called Sea Beyond. And maybe a little bit down the road, we'll redo the chaos. Tim in it. Okay. <laughs> with, the, with the new material, the new album, um, do you have a target date at this point? Maybe it's too early to, to, to ask this at this point. But, I mean, you've got it. It sounds like you've got a title. So, yeah, I'm kind of curious, like, you know, do you have a kind of when are you hoping to release this this new material early next year oh great okay probably january well that's our deadline we'll probably hit around there so early next year that's what, at least the target yeah cool so it sounds like you're well on your way take a minute <laughs> <laughs> yes i mean it, it sounds like you're well on your way and in, in terms of kind of crafting everything and i mean are all the songs written at this point um or are you still in that process we have one that's a baby it's <laughs> brand new so that's gonna be that's gonna be fun i would probably need one maybe two more but uh that those can go by pretty quick hmm. yep nice very cool I, um that's a new guy you know 
helps me face oh, a lot heck of yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Um, with the, I was curious with the new material, are, are you kind of, is it in the same vein as Chaos Indulged? Um, you kind of following that same path musically? It's going to be heavier. Oh, okay. The songs on it are, are a bit heavier. We don't have any ballady ones for this one. Unless one pops out. <laughs> right, right. But yeah, it's, it's going to be a heavier album. Very cool. Very cool. Is, um, and it kind of in then i think you touched on this a little bit already but i was curious in terms of the writing with this new material with the new album is it kind of the kind of what it was before where it's you know very as i know when we chatted before it, it seemed like it's a very organic process for for you guys um where um and and i uh, correct me if i'm if i'm wrong but it sounds like it kind of starts with riffs from your end sadie and then you guys kind of get together and start kind of it's jamming double. out yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep yeah. and kind of the same process with the with the new material yeah. as well. nice. it just feels it turns out so much better when we write that way cool cool and then yeah with tim in the mix now it probably have a, a whole nother dynamic to that which is which you know adds more flavor and more, more interesting things happening so that's that's cool i'm i'm excited <laughs> to hear the new stuff uh that'll be great yeah so Got a few months, I guess, to, before I, I'll be able to hear it. But do, do you, um, well, actually, that's kind of is a good segue into my next question. So, uh, you know, as you mentioned, you had played with Skeletal Remains at, at the Metro. And what kind of spawned out of that is you are doing, you're headlining a show at the Metro in Salt Lake City um, in about, uh, what, was like two weeks or so? Two, two, yep. three, two and a half weeks? Two weeks. Oh. Yeah. Nice. On the September 16th. Awesome. Very cool. So tell me about that. How did, so, you know, kind of how did that come about and uh, who are you playing with? Um, originally, we were hoping or thinking that we were going to do like something in October, Halloween show, something like that. Oh, nice. Um, we're playing with a band called Asylum. Pretty excited about it. They sound like they're going to be an amazing band to play with. Very and cool. As far as I know, that's it so far. Oh, okay. Are they local as well? They're a Salt Lake City band. Okay, cool. Are they also kind of in that death metal, extreme metal vein? Or yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Very cool. Well, that'll be a great show. And that's on Friday, September 16th at the Metro, mm -hmm. correct? Yeah. Cool. Do you, yeah. Um, I mean, obviously you'll be playing a lot of this. Uh, will you be yeah. introducing any of your new songs, new material yeah. in that show? Yeah, we've been playing... Some of the new ones that are going to go on the other the next album. Oh, great! Very cool. Yeah, I think it seems like when I saw you, I think you played one or two songs that I was not familiar with. Like, I, yep. you know, when I heard them, I'm like I don't know this song. What is this? And I think you even said like, "This is a new song." So yeah, that's great. That's very cool. Um, do you have any? Um, uh, do you guys have any plans after the September 16th show? Any any other shows coming up? Anything? Because I know originally the show last night was going to be kind of your, like, this is the last show of the year. But it sounds like, you know, with the kind of interest that, you know, you garnished from playing in Salt Lake uh, at the Metro, it sounds like I'm sure there's going to be uh, probably some more requests for for live shows from, from your band. Yep. Uh, we had... We might do a couple more. We definitely want to do one at 680, like a Halloween show, all ages. Oh, great. Oh, great. So, and then we did get invited to do one in Provo, but... I thought you said Logan. Oh, Logo. Logan, Logan. Logan. yeah. That's hmm. right. So, but we're unsure about that one. Oh, okay. We do have a couple coming up. Nice. Very cool. Very cool. Anything planned for the for the new year? Once what's the the new materials out? It, it's probably way too early at this point, but just kind of curious. I mean, you know, you never know. There, but you know, festivals and things like that going on. Um, we'll just do like a, probably a big OCD release party again. Oh, cool. Very cool. And then there's something in June we got invited to do at an amphitheater next oh. year. That and so far that that's. But really? I feel like, yeah, <laughs> they don't know about it yet. Oh. <laughs> it's a three-day event. Oh, wow. Yeah. Really? Wow. Surprise! Surprise! <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That sounds great. And that's Is that in Ogden? Yeah. Oh, okay. Ogden, Love playing at that place. 
Nice. Okay. And so it's a three day event. Mm -hmm. Is it a metal event or just like kind of multiple genres or? Uh, it's a metal event. I think they're going to have a punk rock day, like death metal day, thrash metal day. Cool. I I didn't hear about that. I need to look into this. You, I yeah, we 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 need to talk after this. <laughs> I need to, yeah, I need to learn more about this. Here. What's that? So, uh, oh, I said it's brand new. Cool. Who's who's putting it on? A guy named Brian. Huh. Uh, I, forget, I don't remember his last name. I'm talking to him today. I have it on my phone. Well, that's exciting. Ogden definitely needs something like that. That's cool. Yeah. And that is, like you said, that's a great venue. So, um, Brian Smith is the one that's hmm, I don't know. It all together. Very cool. I need to look into that. That sounds great. And you said that's in June. This, yep. uh, June 2023. Cool. Okay. Very cool. That's very exciting. I need definitely know to look into that. And it'll be great to see you guys on the on that big stage outside that'll be really cool uh, i'm excited about the backstage <laughs> <laughs> the backstage yeah <laughs> it's awesome in there it's like an amazing amazing motel room or something <laughs> oh really wow I, yeah. I didn't know that are, are you back there demanding like i want my m m split up into different <laughs> yes <laughs> I like I am. <laughs> throwing the I give these, my aren't, guitar its own bed these aren't separated <laughs> nice. that's great do you I, I i think i had asked you this before when we when we chatted before but I, um and i do i apologize i do not remember your answer then but i'm curious now I, I, have you guys do you have any plans as far as like kind of touring outside of utah have you thought about you know kind of taking the, the show on the road at all i know it's not We've easy to do about it, but... i'd love to we would love to. <laughs> we would love to. If we have the opportunity to, to pull it off. Nice. Nice. Yeah. That would be cool. That would be cool. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Something to, something start to consider. Figuring it out. Yeah. Yeah. Let's start talking to some bands and yep. <laughs> see, what, uh, yeah, see what's going on out there. Yeah. I just know there's, you know, especially in the summer, there's always, there's so many cool uh, metal festivals out there that, but it sounds like, which is great. There might be one here and and locally, which is very cool. Um, you know, and of course there's Crucial Fest in Salt Lake, but I mean, in terms of, you know, kind of bigger festivals, it's always, you know, California or back East somewhere. So, but it seems like that would be up your alley. Um, you know, especially musically, stylistically, there's a lot of, a lot of cool stuff. I think you guys would fit into like, you know, I don't, I don't, and I don't have any connections, but I think, you know, your band should be playing it, you know, like, Maryland Death Fest. That would be awesome. So yeah, thank you. So make that happen. <laughs> 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 Easier said than done. <laughs> um, yeah, nice. So anything else going on with you guys? Anything? I mean, not that that's not enough. I mean, you got new material, new album coming out. You got uh, you know uh, the show coming up in two weeks. You got you got anything else happening right now? No, just work. <laughs> I hear you there, brother. <laughs> I hear you there, brother. But you can uh, buy these tickets on 24ticks.com oh, or okay. at 680. Oh, excellent. Excellent. Yeah. And I'll put a, um, like last time, I'll put a, um, for those of you watching, there'll be a description in the description uh, below uh, the video. There'll be links to uh, Necropsy's um, Facebook page and their webpage. And then also to Sadie's store where you can buy the tickets as well as this great CD, um, which you need to own. Um, so yeah, definitely pick that up. And uh, yes, uh, guys, always a pleasure chatting with you. Uh, thank you so much. Cheers. 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 And uh, yeah, we'll That's talk good. again soon. All right. All right. Thank you.